Once you get the hang of this, once you care about feeling your way into the vortex, we offered a game to Esther and she had such fun with it. When she was, she loved that feeling of ease and flow so much. We encouraged her to start through the alphabet and choose a word that begins with A that feels in the vortex to her. And so from inside the vortex, it was easy. She said, appreciation. And then just held the thought long enough that she received the, the, the feeling of complete alignment with her source. And then we said, choose a B word. And she said, bask, that's easy. Clarity, that's easy. Delicious, divine, that's easy. Energy, easy, ease, all easy. Fun, full, focus. Now from inside the vortex, focus, oh, focus is fun. Focus feels great if you're inside the vortex. If you're not in the vortex and you think focus, now it feels like harder work. So what you do, you get in the vortex and you're pretty sure you're in there and then play the alphabet game. In other words, it's so fun to find more in the vortex emotional words. Esther found if she would preface her search for the word with, I feel, I feel more. I feel, I feel moved. I feel magnificent. I feel zest. I feel joy. I feel happiness. In other words, as you want to feel and you reach for those words that you consciously acknowledge feel good to you, what happens is you're going to train yourself. You're going to train your vibration. You're going to train your point of attraction. You're going to train your point of attraction into everything that you've asked for. And then what happens is it has to start showing up. So then it gets easier and easier and easier because not only then are you proactive because you're deliberately going to the vortex that no one else can see and you're deliberately reaching for a feeling that feels good only to you because you're in there all alone. In other words, you're deliberately doing it. But if you do it long enough, what begins to happen and long enough, we only mean a day or two or three or four, a week, a month. In other words, as you practice this for 15 or 20 minutes every day, you will train your vibration into a new point of attraction. And then you will begin experiencing a life that you can then react to. Wonderful life. In other words, isn't it great when there is someone lovable standing right before you who is so easy to love? But before you know about the vortex and before you know about how you can find the feeling of love, even if you are surrounded by scoundrels, before you know that, then lovable ones usually just train you to be annoyed at those who aren't lovable. You say, you know, you could be more lovable and I would feel better. <laughs> if your behavior were better, I would have a better life. And there is no premise more flawed or more disadvantaged to you than to believe that something that you have no control over has to be different before you can feel better. When you show yourself that you can feel better unconditionally, now you are one who lives unconditional love as the source within you always does. And now, you can be the deliberate creator of your experience and nothing is more fun than to be in a physical body in this leading edge time space reality where contrast is giving you constant new bounces so expansion is rampant and then have the power and the wisdom to focus your energy your thoughts your emotions into alignment with all of that and then to get to watch the universe knock itself out to bring you the manifestations to show you your worthiness that's why you came that's why you came